So this video is all about how reading books will massively improve your real estate practice. Welcome back everybody, it's Gregory Martyr. Today, uh, I want to talk about how reading books may, will massively increase your, your business and is literally will make or break a, a quality real estate practice. So Jim Rohn said that the amount of money you make is directly impacted on the value the public perceives you give them. Now I'm paraphrasing and I might have switched it around a little bit, but the perception of value is key. Now, confidence comes with value, or value comes from confidence. And the first thing I advise you read is the consumer notice and a buyer's agency contract or seller's agency contract. And lastly, the agreement of sale. If you know those documents well, you have a lot of confidence when it comes to talking to clients, when it comes to writing agreements. Those are your biggest, most important pieces in the very beginning. So what is my point? How are they related? Well, as I talk to you a little bit about our uh, in our mentoring, how to pick a great mentor or uh, coach, how to how pick the right coach, check out that video here on our channel. Also, while you're here, click subscribe and click like. If you have questions, hit us up there too in the comments, or you can send me a text or email. <clears throat> but folks that have had a lot of success in real estate and in any industry have written a book about it. They wrote down what worked, they wrote down what didn't work. So follow that, <laughs> check that out. Proven success is the best teacher. It's the absolute top avenue to take. Follow success. And there are books written about it. If you wanna, you wanna look at our, some of the books that we recommend, we'll put it in the links below but there are a ton of free books out there. There are a ton of books here on YouTube with a lot of audio books. If you'd like to know what a couple books I recommend, I'd be glad to, to set you up. So don't read a book just to get through the book. Read it and gather information from it. Maybe take notes, take your time. There's no reason to rush through something if you're learning something. And I know what a lot of you are thinking and I'm thinking it too is who has time to read or reading is maybe even boring, or I'm not interested in reading. Well, if you're watching videos, you've got time to read, but YouTube has audiobooks. Audiobooks, you're drive more than 12,000 miles per year probably. You can listen to books. You're standing in line, you're, you're waiting in a line, or maybe you have a couple of minutes while you're waiting for whatever it might be, a, a veterinarian appointment or a doctor's appointment, or you're waiting at the dentist or while you're sitting in bed just for a few minutes, you can listen to books. Hugely, hugely effective. You can listen over and over and over again. If you could listen to the book and then read the book or vice versa, it actually works better for you that way. But hopefully you won't have any better excuse. Great thing I like to do is while watching sports or watching something I enjoy on TV, you could be listening to an audio book just food for thought. If you have any other great ideas, hit them up in the comment section there. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you need any other help, I'm glad to do it. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me a message. I'm Gregory Martier, local realtor, team lead, and coach and mentor and friend to all agents. Have a great day, everybody.